Speaker. I rise today in strong support of both joint resolutions that will block the Obama's administration's so-called Clean Power Plan, a regulation I had that was never authorized by Congress that will hurt our economy, lower our standard of living, and have absolutely no impact on the climate. Mr. Speaker, I often say the things that make America great are the things that America makes. Now, how do we do that? with an affordable, dependable, reliable energy supply. According to the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, which operates my state's electric grid, energy cost would increase for Texans by up to 16% due to this clean power plan. This will have a disproportionate impact on the poor and those on fixed incomes. And sadly, most of those folks don't even see it coming. According to testimony we heard today, Mr. Speaker, in the Science Committee, the Clean Power Plan will reduce global temperatures by just 0.023% uh, degrees rather, Fahrenheit by the year 2100. Furthermore, the EPA's claimed public health benefits from this regulation are due solely due to re reductions in air pollutants already regulated by the agency under existing standards. The reduction of carbon dioxide on its own has no public health benefit. I mentioned that the things that make America great are the way that we have a reliable, affordable power supply. I guess we could say that EPA stands for an energy and power assault. Mr. Speaker, the facts are clear. This regulation will hurt our economy and have none of the stated benefits the administration claims. I often say that EPA seems to stand for eventually paralyzing America. We must adopt these resolutions of disapproval and hold this administration accountable for its regulatory assault on our economy and our low-income families. And that's how I see it here in America. Gentleman's time has expired. Gentleman from Kentucky reserves. Gentleman from New